Right, now we're on flat ground. I'm just going to back off on the throttle. Lose a bit of momentum. Give the engine a break for a minute. You stole the, coal, the climb out of the coal mine. So the secret to it, anyone... I've done that run. It's in a video from a couple of years ago. The secret to that is to make sure you're using the air vents properly to get the power boost. If you don't, you won't have enough power. Installed a 900 ton steam train on that loop. Oof. Got to get a second steamer to get it going again. Wow. It's pointing left. I wonder if we can get a mission to take a tank from the harbour town to the military base up here. Which doesn't seem to have a train line connecting into it. How are you supposed to haul goods to the military base when there's no train line connection? How does that work? Yeah, but what is it? how do you know how to get there if there's a secret train line? How do you know where to go? Pretty soon it'll just be all downhill to the harbour. If you burn most of your fuel just getting up this hill. I wish the game would load a lot more scenery than it does. Like, you often see the message at the top saying loading area. I and mean, given how much memory I've got, I don't understand why it just doesn't load most of it, if not all of it. And that I don't have that annoying stutter. Is it like... I think it's doing, like, memory allocations and deallocations or something. It just takes forever. Tracks are unmarked, but if you go past the coal mine and the iron ore mine, you see the junction for it. Right, okay. The game reminds me a lot of OMSI anyway, Bigfoot, because I, I think it's like the OMSI for train sims. But it will be when they add, you know, mod support, like third party add ons. Which is what it needs. Uh, the radio's not a mod, you have to buy it in the game. Don't know why it, it's 64 bit, I think, Alex, so it should be. If it's 64 bit, it can cope with RAM. Still a go for launch. Have they, have they said, is that the decision, or is that just. We've not reached the time yet? VR OMSI? I uh, don't think so. <laughs> Need to pick up some speed. Job's taking too long. Punch it, Chewy. I 
how well does the controller work? Very well. It's it's really cool. <laughs> They do all the checks and still go. Yeah, but Dr. Vandaly, they said that um, they're going to make a no-go, go decision in about, what, 10 minutes, was it? Or have they made that decision? Okay, right and turn. Let me go right through the tunnel, which I think is a 40 limit. Robert doing well. Um, yeah, Ruben, that's what I'm saying. They said that we're going to give a go, no go. I'm saying, have they given that decision yet? Or is it still speculation? get the weather report in 12 minutes. Right, okay. It must be really, really, really annoying for the astronauts. You know, they get all suited up. They go through all that preparation. They sit in the cockpit, they do all the checks, they go through everything, and then they go, nope, get back out again. <laughs> Must get really frustrated. You just derailed your train in this game. Well, that's the name of the game. Must be more annoying for the live feed. What do we talk about next? That's very true. No, I think the real. Why are you not releasing the brake? Come on, game. How long it takes to get the brake pressure up oh my god the real decider will be the fuel if you see the fuel truck coming over it's a go they will not refuel it unless it's a go and i don't think they're going to refuel it well there goes the bonus Manic, you're so lucky. I would love to see a launch. I really would. I'd love to be in Florida for a launch.
What if we infect aliens with COVID? What? When you say aliens, have you actually seen one or met one? That's like saying, what if we infect unicorns with COVID? Well, if we ever meet one, we'll kind of worry about it, right? You find it all a load of waffle just burning more fossil fuels to put man in space? Yeah, sure thing, Battle Rabbit. Because if we stay on this planet, we're definitely not going to become extinct at some point, right? Just sitting here waiting for, like, an extinction event, which is inevitably going to happen, that's definitely the right thing to do. Like, let's not try and get into space. Let's not try and get on other planets. Let's stay on one planet and wait for something to go wrong. <laughs> that just sounds like... I I'm with Elon Musk on this one. we got to get off this planet. we got to become a spacefaring nation. Or planet, as it were. Sitting here is just the dumbest thing. Yeah, we're burning fossil fuels, but you've got to look at the bigger picture. That's my opinion. Something more specific, I met a few people are questionably human. Whoa. World reform, man ruined this planet, man should fix the planet. Um, we could probably fix the planet. That's not the problem, though, is it? The problem is something coming from outer space that slams into the planet. That's what's going to wipe us all out. An extinction level event, as they call it. Oh my god, game, stop lagging. It's, a, it's just a simple case of having all your eggs in one basket. If we all stay on one planet, if we get an event on the planet that wipes everybody out, we're all gone. It's as simple as that. I say what I should have done. I should have I should have um, actually prepped this. Where are we going? C1S. I'm going to have to reverse in on it. So we go past and then reverse into C. 1S is... We're coming from the north, which is the bottom, which is the left side. However, we need to go and check it because I reckon there might be something in the way. Extinction isn't so bad, something better will come along. Um, how do you know that? How do you know that we're not that one in a billion, billion, billion chance of anything, of life? I don't know. We just don't know, do we? But being fatalistic about everybody's future, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh my god, please stop lagging at the worst possible moment. Right, left turn. That's the military base, though. An extinction level event already happened when we came along. Yes. And the dinosaurs weren't evolved enough to get off the planet. So... It's only a matter of time before something like that happens to us. You got the mod working then, Baz. Well, yeah, it's a mod. Yeah, Manic, you're right. But a lot of tech comes along from war as well. We 
which isn't a good thing either. Okay, 1S is actually clear. We're in luck. What do they say, Manic? Necessity is the mother of invention, is what they say. And conflict always creates a race. A race to technology, whatever. A race for survival. But that's when the most invention happens. Oh god. Don't like the word that's going. I could be about to hit something. Okay, left turn down here. I'm gonna cry a left turn into 1S. Looks good. You do love the fact that private companies are pushing to reach space. Yeah, why do you think they're doing that? I mean, it's phenomenally expensive to do anything with space. Why are private companies doing it? Like, who's paying for that and why? I wish this remote control had a speed reading. Does the job say we have to uncouple, so we don't have to unload or anything? Space mining potential. Well, the people who are stumping up all this money for SpaceX, they're all private investors, aren't they? So why are private investors throwing loads of money at this? They're not, they're not stupid people, are they? They're not going to throw the money away. Oh yeah, minus 15, that's got the speed on it. Oh, we're going out of range, I think. Yeah, you're right, it does have the speed. It's flickering because I think I'm going out of range. Private companies will eventually profit. Exactly, but where's the profit in space? Where's the money? What, we're a go for launch? Really? Welcome back, Nutter. Yeah, you can stand with the rear car over if you really want to. Well, space tourism is one. Research is another. There are some there are some things that you can only do in space, funnily enough. Some tech, some biotech that you can only do in space. Let's turn that off. It said on couple as well, didn't it?
in progress. Move cars from A3S to HBC1S. That's what we've done, isn't it? The heck? Are we too far back or something? I did detach. You saw me do it. I think it's because one of the cars is derailed. Why, which car is derailed? No, the job specifically says uncouple the following cars at the station track. First flat car. Oh. You what, mate? Ten grand to rerail that. I'm trying to work out how we've managed to drag the entire car derailed. That's nuts. Why is that not moving? I swear I pressed the key for that. I was confused. I didn't look because I already pressed the, the forward and the reverse the key, but never mind. Rerail. Cost a lot of money. I tell you what, I'm so very glad I've got this reversal right now, <laughs> this remote control, because <laughs> this job would be a lot harder without this thing. Okay, so presumably that's that. So how much does that cost? Like nearly 10 grand just to do that. Flippin' heck. As if I just got a bonus. 60 grand payouts? As if I just got a bonus for that. I spent ages. 
Hang on. What was the penalty? Flatbed empty, $30. Flatbed damage before the job zero, during the job 0.3%. Wait, if I've understood this correctly, the flat car was... When was the flat car derailed? Was it at the beginning? Or was it just at the end then? Because if I drag that all the way from... You guess it got damaged when it got derailed? I'm sure it did. Hang on, if we go back to this thing, it'll tell us what fees we've got. All right, so 10 grand, but we can get it serviced for less than that. $30. I caused $30 worth of damage to that flat car. That's hilarious. Let's go and get a service. Look, it's done it again. It's it's reordered my stuff because it's picked this thing up and put it in position one, which reorders everything. It's actually annoying the way it does that. Like, I really want to just... I really want to be able to say to the game, these first four pins here, do not ever change them. Like, anything I pick up, put it in position five. Don't do anything with position one. $30 is not even a new coat of paint. $30 is like a tin of paint. It's it's barely a scratch. Let's go. <laughs> That's how you get a speedy getaway. You start pulling on the back of a contest and then you immediately release. <laughs> 51 minutes to launch. Is it is it definitely gonna happen? Is it hype train gonna happen? Fifty percent weather. Okay, so they've uh it's like penciled. It's penciled in for launch. was a derailed train then. They said the weather's improved. In five minutes they have another go no go. Okay. Fingers crossed then. Hundred and sixty eight grand in the bank. Plus we owe about seven or eight. So maybe 160 in the wallet. So the, the weather's cleared up a little bit, which is good. Looks like the roundhouse is still in set correctly. Just drive straight in. Gaming setup complete. Yes. If you run the equipment command, you can have a look at all the specs. Let's kill that. So, what's that? 549 to the engine. Little bit of damage on the wheels. 556. Five, Nothing on the body. Oil.
basically manic, yeah. Sand. The elusive sand. Used to be of sand getting here. $300 worth of sand. We don't need a DE6. We can double DE2 now. 5,200. Nice. Okay. Let's pay our environmental taxes or whatever it is we have to pay. That's fine. Why can't you just say pay all? <laughs> right, licenses. Now we could afford a military one for a hundred grand, but let's have a look at what jobs there are. The harbour's always got loads of jobs. Waiting for a poll on the go, no go. Maybe we should run a poll, Sommy, on whether um, we, sh we think they should launch. <laughs> we'll decide if they launch or not. <laughs> Let me take a backup. Okay, we got that backed up. Uh, right, what's that? The hazmat one, completely doable. 588 tons, sounds good. City Southwest. Now, we could do that, except that is... Just some cake. A bit much. 1,200 tons, that's more than the two shunters can do. Uh, Mr. Referick, you need to go to the military briefing container for military jobs near the military earlier. I see. Do you have to have a military license to see them? Machine factory. That's a hazmat three. That's never going to happen. Machine factory. Actually, because we'll go over there now, because if I do all that rearranging, run over to the military and come back, it'll just throw it all around anyway. So I might as well go there now. Station office. Turn hut. Celebratory bunter. Uh, you want a military contract, eh? Let's see what you got, kid. Well, that's a hazmat, so that's not happening. A military two hazmat three, and it only pays 40 grand. Really? Really? Referic, only to enter the actual area containers outside and accept the jobs you need a military license. There's only two jobs here? I'm kind of disappointed. Have a look at the uh, SpaceX situation here. Call for launch. They continue to monitor the air and the sea space. Everything looks good. And we oh, the weather looks good, actually. Green across the board on the weather conditions, but we can't uh, take a deep breath quite yet. We're going to have to watch the weather all the way down to T zero. Weather looks good. I can see the horizon. <laughs> in the Atlantic looks pretty sunny. Zones. All right, cool. Forty-three minutes. We'll see how we go for time. Uh, job validator. Yeah, the only problem with this is the only thing that I can do is none of these because I don't have any hazmat three. And if that's the only military jobs available, then we're not doing military. What am I watching for SpaceX? So I said earlier, if the SpaceX is a go for launch, then I'm going to stop the stream, restart it and watch SpaceX. Because I want to see the launch. Because it's a piece of history, right? Let's 
see what we got over here. Can I show a link? Show on the satellite view from ten minutes ago. Of course you can. Celebratory bunting. Can you host NASA? I don't. I don't want to host because I want to watch it with you guys. If I host, it'll just put you over there. Hmm. Yeah, potentially doable. Mr. Raffereg, you know the military doesn't pay well. <laughs> but you need to regenerate those jobs. If I go back, will they have regenerated, do you think? Goods factory... Why stop the stream? Um, because I don't know if you're allowed to re like I'll be effectively rebroadcasting it, won't I? Because I'll be watching it live, and so what I want to do is separate the gaming content, which will go on Score Plus. Stop the stream. That that's parked. Then we'll watch the stream together. Then I'll delete the vod. <laughs> Basically. One point nine million. There was one point five the other day. That's not. That's a shunting job. Oil well central, oil well north. Food jobs look boring. Train value one point zero nine million dollars. On Earth? That's a lot. You have to completely leave the harbour to regenerate, fair enough. Steel mill, food factory. That's a hazmat two. Unless you upgrade to a hazmat two, which I can't see happening. I haven't been to the sawmill, you know. Goods factory town. Four hundred tons plus five hundred tons, that's a bit too much. Could possibly combo them two. So 51k. Brokar, thank you for bullseye 50 months. Steam train, that's it. Harbour. Okay, they're all rubbish. That's rubbish. It's a shunting job, don't care. Uh 15 grand, 14 grand. Wait a minute, that's a combo there, look. Um it's about 42k. That one's 51. I think this is still the best one. What would that be? 700 and... 70 tons, which is just about in the limit of two. It's a hazmat one and a long two, which we have both of those. I think we can do both of those, maybe. Trouble is, I'd have to, um, I'd have to set them up. Absolute goods factory, which we've done before. Which one we, we want to hand that one in? So we want that one first. We want to pick that up first. Actually, no, we want to pick it up second. We want to get this one first. So we need to find FH 48 in the yard, which is one which has a weird container in the middle. FH89. That one. It's got to be that one. Oh, that's 62. Happy anniversary, Nut. 
Hmm. It's not here, what would it be? Yeah, but that's not FH forty eight. That one's FH thirty four. That's 24, 34. So that's the big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cars approximately. That's definitely that one. This one I can't find. FH 48. Where the heck is this one? I reckon that's it though. Two red box cars, a white, there's no green on it though. It's not that one either. Blimey, this is elusive. Well, that's the G yard. I can't see in G. It's none of them. And it's none of these. Hmm. I think we just hand that one in and find and have it tell us where it is. I don't know where it is. We're not going to go for the bonus on that one anyway. So it doesn't matter. Uh, that one. D three zero. Okay, if we come out of the yard going forward, reverse down to D. Yeah, I didn't lock down on that beer. Uh, Enceladus, how you doing? No problem. Prices have finally dropped and steering wheels got a 920 coming on your birthday. Noise. What are we on uh, for launch now? T minus what? About 20, 25? Maybe 30? Minus 33, okay. Send us into D. Not house. Right into D. Three O. Oh. 
is that one there. Okay, I think that's set correctly. Right, so this should be 953 at the back. 252, that's good. Welcome back, Nata. Stage one fuel, 10%. Cool. Looking promising. What am I doing? That's how we roll now. Right, we want to go right there. Feed onto here. And then we're going to be reversing back into that yard, aren't we? So we want to be about here. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Yeah, I think, Kermit, that would have been an absolute disaster. <laughs> uh, Adobe, thank you for giving us up to Veya. Veya, welcome back. Brew Hits, 46, thank you. Curious Gaming gifted us up to Good Guy Gandar. Welcome, Good Guy Gandar. Thank you uh, very much, Curious. Live Vanquish, 53. Okay, that's, that's more than quick enough. I'm going to derail if we're not careful. Welcome back. What? Not no, not right now. Too busy. Okay. Okay, so think is it this one or this one fh 34 is this one I think that's set. I 
PR, how is it possible to spread COVID in space exactly? Let's say the virus somehow mystically gets out into a vacuum that's like minus, what, 268 Celsius or something? Do you actually think it's going to survive? <laughs> Do you think that virus is going to live? Can you ride on the back? Yes, you can. I shall demonstrate. There you go. Did we need a second engine for this? We did, didn't we? I'll right, we'll have to bring over a second engine in a second. In space, no one can hear you cough. <laughs> Lovely relaxing game, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, for those donut, thank you for thirty two months. Oops, sorry about that. Hey, N, thank you for gifting us up to Bird Out. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, we think that's correctly hooked up. We haven't handed the job in yet, but we need to get another local over here. Um, let's see. There's one. It's pointing the wrong way. Was there one at the roundhouse, maybe? You can nick one of them. There we go. Nick that one. I'll double check the load. Oh god, hang on. We'll double check the load when, we're, when we actually pick it up. We haven't picked up the load yet, no point. duty mate my hay fever has been absolutely terrible this week really bad i like my eyes if i'm in this room air conditioned and the windows are shut like i'm okay i go outside and it's just my eyes are itching like crazy i was scratching them out the other day sneezing sneezing and more sneezing horrible Nah, I don't use Periton. Periton causes drowsiness. I buy, um... I buy, uh, what's it called? It's 10 milligrams of... What's the name? What's the active ingredient? 
the Rapidine, the Rapidine. I can't remember the name now. Joseph, thank you for half a year. Um, boots, sell them in a box for about six quid. I get them online. Uh, 30, 30 tablets, one a day, for £1.99. They ordered nine boxes, they arrived 40 hours later. Game on. Last year I got the same box for 78p. That's it, Loretidine. Loretidine's the one I use. No, the boots only is a complete rip-off weasel. If you look at the price of it and look at the active ingredient, you can get it online so much cheaper. Hey, and thank you for gifting a sub to Achievian. Welcome, Achievian. Now, these points should all be set up correctly. Get a Twitch baby in four days. Nice. You got to Chemist Direct. Um, I forget where I got it from this time. They were they were really good. See Benadryl. I used to use Benadryl, but after about three or four weeks of using Benadryl, I get really bad side effects. Yeah, I'm just gonna hook up Whiteland and then switch and watch it. I think. They're all hooked up. Now, if we hand this mission in, start the clock on it, which is that one there. Quickly check the job. It should be from that car there, which is 232. To that car there, which is 341. That is the correct job. That's all lined up for next time. Joe Reiner, thank you for giving us up to Weasel. Welcome back, Weasel. Uh, let me back this up and then we're gonna watch some SpaceX launch, I think. Twitch. Twitch 8. Um, right, there we go. Okay, right. That's the end of the derail value for this evening. I'm just going to stop the stream and then restart it so I get a separate VOD. I need to give it about a minute, something like that, before I restart, otherwise it'll just continue. So, um, yeah, I'll be back in like two minutes' time and we'll watch the Space Edge launch. If you want to watch, stick around. If you don't, if you're heading out, great. Have a good evening. I'll be back live tomorrow at, two, at 12 o'clock.